What's up everybody, Me Time Gamer here bringing you a new game called California M Roll the intro. <laughs> Alright guys, so a little bit before we start the game, this game is a small little game that's on special right now on a Humble Bundle for $5, if I remember. It's not that expensive. It's a small little game. I don't know how long it lasts. It's an action advent, uh, it's a first person advent, uh, exploration game. So I'm, I'm a fan. This one looks a, a bit like a jalopy, but a little bit more refined textures and stuff like that. So uh, we'll explore together. We'll see what this game is. It looked interesting. The premise looked interesting. So. Uh, Follow me, and we'll hopefully we'll enjoy the game. I know I probably will. All right, one, two, three. You, you lost crunches. Four, five, six. Where are you, Alice? One, two, three. You scared of what will be? Four, five, six. We'll meet by the stick. One, two, three. You lose crunches. Me. Four, five, six. Oh, I have to type. Okay, that's cool. Five. There. One. Three. Scared of. All right. <clears throat> All right. Can I pick up stuff? Oh yeah, this is a writer's desk. Definitely. I take the John Lennon glasses. Wait a minute, door. I'll be right there. Oh. I'm a pig. Okay, there's nothing seems to be in threat. A lot of overdue bills, a lot of... Oh, a paper. Elvin, four years now, ever since we lost our little Alice, I've shared my life with a stranger consumed by grief. Where did your dream go? What happened to Elvin Green, who wanted to offer his wonderful story to the world? I'm leaving to escape the madness that is slowly killing you before it destroys me too. I'm leaving so I can fight my own battle. I would love to have you by my side. Good luck, Elvin T. How's it going, Cap Chaos? Welcome to the stream, man. All right. Someone has left us. I'm guessing it's my wife. Now I'm having a drug trip. I'm not sure. Oh, the telephone. Where is the telephone in this... Oh, okay. Got a message. Hello. You've reached 415-612-1928. Leave a message after the tone. Hey, buddy. It's Don. Hey, Don. I've been trying to reach you for two weeks now. I'm still waiting on your copy for the radio ads. The campaign launches at the end of the month, and the clients want me to fire you and get your ass over to Weird Worlds on the double. All right. Oh, the drugs again. Hey, whoa. Drug. Oh, and there I go. Pia. I guess this is my wife. Or my ex-wife or my... And roommate or I don't know. All right. Okay, the TV now. Oh. It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Incurable writer's block. 
A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. Who'd want to live such a nightmare? Okay, so now the TV can talk to me. Is that... Is that 6 or V or... I don't know. Keep that in mind. 6 or... A vi or beer. <clears throat> so far, I like the atmosphere. It's really nice. Oh. What's flashing? Oh, okay. I I don't get it. Oh. Okay. That's not weird at all. Oh. I guess I just wasn't clicking at the right place. Try that drug bottle. Oh. Takes me to another reality. Really weird. Abraham Lincoln, the state of California flag, Republic of California flags. See, there's one that turns. Okay. Oh my god, that's you know. Oh, you are a disturbing lady. Oh Jesus. Found it in a one. That's what I thought the next thing would be like. I have to be close to something. All right. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Green. It looks like you can achieve something after all. Hey, it took me a while, but I got Touching. it. But this is just the first step. Oh, there's always only right first step. Solitary vice. Are you ready to face the outside world? 
I'm not sure about that one. All right, let's do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are not. There you are, oh. Green. Not only do you owe me five months' rent, you don't even bother to answer my letters anymore. I can barely get by on my small pension. I have no choice but to evict you. How oh, you look like a bum. Get off the drugs and find a real job, Green. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Okay. I'm guessing this is my hippie van. Let's go look at this shady fella. Hey man, you going to Weird World? You at Sci-Fi? Yeah, man. Imagination. I'll get you to read your short story of mine. It's about this dog and he thinks garbage men are aliens. Maybe you could talk to Don about it. I heard him yelling earlier. He was going berserk, baby. The guy seems like a real hot ass. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Stop following me. Stop looking, Sector. Don't open his record store. I'm going to whip my wrist in the stop room. It's like those weird paintings that just follow you. All right, I guess I'm supposed to go here. Hey, Elvin. Man, you are a sorry sight. I'm still waiting on your first novel. You know, I've always been there for you, but we can't go on like this. I'm through with giving you advance to sit around all day sinking deeper into depression. I'd rather remain good friends and let you find another publisher. Look at me, Mr. Nice Guy, hooking you up with advertising gigs, but you can't even write those. The radio ads for the astronaut Patty dolls, nothing. The ones for love lack laxatives, nada. <laughs> And me, I have to refund the clients. Sorry, pal. But you're a writer who doesn't write. Too bad. Oh, that sounds... Sci-fi is cool. That sounds horrible. John Raphael, who wrote that novel about the freaks who live on Mars. I didn't get all of it, but the guy tripped me out. That's the kind of stuff I'd like to publish in Freak Out. Okay, I got it. This message again. I have to find four here. Come on. Oh, jeez. There. The Great Abe. Supposed to be like an alternative. So it's supposed to be here. Maybe you should get some help. I'm going to give you Barry's number. He's a great...
Some of them are tricky. You have to like walk before you get them. Or... God damn you. Got it. Well, our illustrious writer has discovered a taste for multiple realities. Can I go upstairs? Uh, nope. Well, hello there, young man. A novelist friend of mine told me a good story. Friends gather for a dinner party. They start by having drinks. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, the host has left out a beautiful seven-pound fish ready to bake. Everyone gets a little tipsy, <coughs> and when the woman goes back to the kitchen to put the fish in the oven, it's gone. Nothing but the family cat licking his chops. Where did the fish go, the guests wonder. Then they have a great idea. Why don't we weigh the cat? They all go to the bathroom and put the cat on the scale. The arrow moves seven pounds exactly. There. Now we know where the fish went, they say. Everyone's relieved to find that doesn't make sense. Explanation for the missing fish until one of the guests exclaims, But where did the cat go? You could call it Schrodinger's fish, don't you think? Have a good day. All right, you're not crazy at all. See you again. What's up, man? So, you finish your book? No. You're to pay your tab, right? Oh, God. Is broke. The police are everywhere with that crystal lake coming in from Mexico. It's in the way of business. The clients are too scared to buy dope from Stavros now. Except for two local hippies. Some guy from the narc squad came by. All in black, like a crow, a tough guy. He was like something from that TV show. The invaders. He asked about you. What? What's Elvin writing about? How does Elvin get high? He asked about Taya too. She communist? She running with the Black Panther? Oh God! What does Savros know? Scatter. He now knew there was a communist party in America. <laughs> Fuck, man! I sure hope my number don't come up. No way I'm going to get my skin full of lead and nail for Uncle Sam. That happens, I split for Canada. I'm red. There's a cop upside before I go any further. I want to see... Because uh, while I'm doing those little puzzle things, they seem to... Uh... I heard sweet old Mrs. Reagan is real mad at you. That's it? That's all you have to say? I hear a TV somewhere. Hey, okay, this is the pooper. There's the TV. Five. Okay. I think it all seems like broadcasting gear. All right. Oh, there's a guy at the door now. See people just change. Oh. God dang it.
Ooh, stairs. I'm missing one. Might be in the stock room. This is most stimulating, my friend. You've finally given some meaning to your life. Mm -hmm. As one of your fellow writers said, man is absurd in what he seeks, great through what he finds. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, part one of uh, California. I'm probably going to make this a playthrough because so far I'm enjoying the game a lot. Just uh, when you start each chapter at the beginning, it's pretty interesting. Like, we have to type all the, the, the letters... Uh, and all that that's pretty cool and finding all the little puzzle at first it was a bit confusing but like uh after you've done it once or twice you understand what's going on and it's pretty cool and then it's very enjoyable so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh you enjoyed the video hopefully you guys will watch the next the next part too uh, if you enjoyed please like like the, the video sorry <laughs> Please like the video and, and, and subscribe to the channel, of course. Leave a comment below, just leave a comment about the series or anything else. Uh, you can follow me at MeTimeGamer on Twitter. You can follow me at uh, twitch.tv forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I stream almost every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. You can follow me facebook.com forward slash MeTimeGamer. And you can also check out all my other videos at youtube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and keep on keeping up.